we saw how to generate numbers using Lottery Analyst. And we showed you that there are graphs associated with each column where the yellow curve is historical data. The green curve is the, the statistical fit. And then red numbers are those that in, in the most recent games have come up less frequently than expected based on the historical data. And the blue numbers are those that have come up more frequently than expected based on historical data. Now we'll show you how you can modify some of the settings that are used to generate the numbers in the settings menu. The first important setting that we'll see is the length of the analyzed history. So in the earlier graph that we showed you, um, the yellow line um, showed the historical data. And, that's, and the number of games that's included in, in calculating that curve um, is, corresponds to the setting here. So you can change it to whatever you want, or you can get the program to help you determine an ideal number. And you do that by clicking on Analytics here. So Analytics takes a little while to run because it's analyzing uh, thousands of possible combinations of settings. But eventually, it'll generate a suggested historical window for red numbers and a potentially different historical window for blue numbers. So if you're playing red numbers, you can go into the settings and put that result uh, that will give us for the red numbers. If you're playing blue numbers, you can put in the result for the blue numbers. So here are the results. If you wanted to play red numbers, you would go into the settings and change the 24 games to 18. If you wanted to play blue numbers, you would change 24 to 17. And now we'll show you very briefly what those suggestions are based on. So just focus here on the light red and the light blue curves, the smoother curves. The program is essentially finding um, areas. So on the x-axis, we have the length of the historical window of games. And the program is automatically finding um, uh, 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 settings for the, for the number of games in the historical window uh, where the uh, distance between these curves is greatest. Another important setting is how many standard deviations you want to include when uh, calculating uh, the numbers. So if you click on help here, this is the setting here. If we click on help, what we see is that if we select one sigma, we have these narrow boundaries in dark blue. If we select two sigma, we'll have broader boundaries, these two here. Finally, finally, the last setting is that we can uh, tell the app whether to generate only red numbers, blue numbers, or a mix of both. If you select the last option, so a mix of red and blue numbers, the program, so let's select that and save, the program when you hit generate numbers, will figure out automatically for each column whether your chance of success is greater if you play red numbers or blue numbers. So we saw that in this case, we see that in this case, um, for column one, it's suggesting that we play red numbers and for column two, blue numbers and so on. So these are just some of the settings that you can play with and we'll show you more in upcoming videos.